Hi Cooper, you're on video. Can you give me a tour? Sure. Are you having a good time? So you're looking at a 2022 all electric Rivian R1T. It's a truck. So it's a little bit different, but it's very similar to other trucks. Number one, it doesn't have an engine like you're accustomed to. I have my tools in there. I have a couple motors in here. You know, this motor. <laughs> just joking, just joking, just joking. Uh, and below this, it actually has a, a, a kind of area for cooler and it has a drain in there. So you could put drinks down there if you had to as well. Yep. Right here, this is where I actually charge. So I push that little button. It's not really a button. It opens up and then every day at home, this is where I charge. I plug that in and it takes at home. It takes me about eight hours to charge depending. But if I go to a fast charger, it's like 35 minutes okay. and a fast charger, you pop this down and that's that enables that whole contraption there. You plug it in and you get fast charging. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Shut that. When I do a full charge, it's 293 miles. So it has cameras all the way around. Obviously a lot of vehicles have cameras these days. Um, I have it in off-road mode, so it, it looks a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more macho, you know, for the uh, the car show here. I want to look, you know, as big and beefy as possible. But when I'm on the freeway, this actually lowers almost right here. So it almost, <laughs> it's not, it's not a lowered vehicle, but it, it almost looks, almost looks that low, right? It has air suspension, which is, you know, nice because uh, it, it automatically lowers itself. But I also have an air compressor in the back. So if the tires are low, I can raise them up. These will, when I lock the door or put it in drive, the handles will close. Exactly. There is a Bluetooth speaker. It's used for camping. So it's right on the armrest there. Uh -huh. And I take that and I, I can charge that right down below. There's a little home for it. It plugs in. All right. Wow. It goes zero to 60 in 3.3 seconds. <laughs> That's Lamborghini speed. Um, it has air conditioned seats. It has heated seats. And um, I was really concerned at first that it was going to kind of become broken, you know, when you heat it up and cool it down. But so far it's been several months, no big issues. And then up here, if you look up there, there's actually a, it's like a, sun roof. a panoramic roof. Exactly. It doesn't, it doesn't open, but it's like a whole huge roof up there. Now be careful because this is sharp. I mean, you could, you could, if you're walking with speed, you could hurt your knee or your leg with, you don't see it, but that's like kind of, here when you pull it out. that's, yeah, that's, that's a, that's a great idea. And then it has this, this area down below here where you can put camping chairs, golf clubs. You can put two sets of golf clubs inside here. This is what's called the gear tunnel. And inside here, there's an air compressor hose. It's all coiled up. So air compressor hose. And then I can actually stand on it if I have to get to anything up here. And if you actually go back here, you can see that it has a spare tire or there's a room for a spare tire that just doesn't exist. I spent all the money on the truck, so I don't have a spare tire. My sister's Bobo didn't have a spare tire. Back there, there's 110 volts. So you can plug in power stuff. I used it for a table saw once upon a time, it worked. And then right over here is the air compressor. Right there. And one thing that's really handy is this lifts all the way up. You know, it gets out of your way. So if you have to get that spare tire out and then when you put it down, it becomes kind of a normal truck again. And one thing that's kind of unique, it's, it has this gooseneck so that goes up every time this goes up, but it extends the bed out a little bit. So you have a kind of a, a longer bed. And then I have a, a cover that goes right here on the tunnel cover, it goes automatic. So that's about it. Automatic, it's made out of metal. Guys, I gotta show you the motor inside this. Come and check it out. I have two of them. These are DeWalt Impact. <laughs> Just joking. How you like it? I love it.
it's awesome it's a it's a great vehicle um, I have it in off-road mode right now you can see where it's you know a little bit taller but when I'm driving on the freeway it's really low here huh. but it's fun overall to drive I get around 293 miles when I leave the garage in the morning um, but that's if I put it in conserve mode if I have it in uh, aggressive sport mode it's 270 miles